from time to time it might happen that you have some products on your system that is either duplicated uh, or you created it and you do not want to sell that product anymore um, the easiest way always or uh, to determine what is going on in your database um, is to always look here at the bottom of your screen you'll see they displayed records 36 of 38 meaning there's 36 active items items that are still allowed and able to be sold out of 38 so that means I've already deleted or disabled then uh, two products in Fopos we do not allow for deleting of a product because there will be history on that product there might be sales on it there might be stock takes on it there might be stock on it so the history of a product is always critical otherwise the system will go out of balance so again if you're using a system or has been using a system that allows you to delete you should ask yourself well what happened to that history the purchases the sales um, etc etc not a good idea so good idea to say no no let us disable it uh, it's not going to make any difference on your database uh, the size of the database etc etc um, so let's not worry about it okay so to first of all to see whether you know which products have been disabled you can from this point on your screen just press the home button on your keyboard as soon as you press home button you'll see that the displayed records there has changed 38 of 38 in other words it's now showing me the disabled items as well I can then go down to the physical product that I have disabled and I know which product it is most likely and enable it again all right so for now I'm not going to do that let me go and disable a product that I actually know that I want to disable just to show the exercise and then we will go and see what the effect of that is okay so let's go and take our first product 100 pipers whiskey again it could be any product um, in here I'm selling it in a shrink of 1 times 12 a couple of ways of disabling or deleting something and again be careful yeah uh, a lot of customers for some reason decide that they will go into the barcodes and they will disable a barcode okay so what will happen here now the product is still on my system but the barcode is disabled therefore I cannot sell it okay good idea if I want to possibly go back to it later on um, but uh, I can't really see the, the the big benefit other than saying no I don't want to sell cases anymore okay again the functionality is there you will decide whether that can work for your type of requirements or not um, the alternative way would be to go and say okay I'm going to disable the product and going to discontinue the product now as soon as I do that and I go out of the screen uh, okay let me hop out all the way go back in there so that you can go and see my hundred pipers uh, doesn't ex exist anymore or doesn't show anymore you can now see them down to 35 or 38 and if I press the home button then my hundred pipers will show again that's the one I just disabled <clears throat> the thing to always check for first when you do this is go make sure that your history is zero okay because this history the stock quantity and then whether it's negative or positive it's not what magically gonna become zero if you disable it you must physically go and do something to make it zero in other words you need to go and do your stock take adjustment or something so if I then print out my stock sheets and I then suddenly see this item pop up but I know I've disabled it that's why there's still a quantity in there so what you have to do is go back into the product like I'm doing now enable it again by taking the ticks off then go and zeroize the stock and then come back and, and, uh, and I disable it again so be careful of that and that it would explain why your stock values are not necessarily correct because you've got these negative products okay um, that's how to delete a product or disable a product in four parts enjoy